Praise God. Greetings to you all in the master's name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I thank God for this opportunity he has given us today morning to glorify his name. For today's morning devotions, I would like to share from Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. The lyrics of a blessed song goes like this. I've had plans shattered and broken. All things I had hoped in fell right through my hands. God has plans to rebuild and restore me. He is behind and before me. Every one of us has had plans we have made for our futures or the plans for the present. But what we don't remember are those few words we had promised at the beginning of our life with Jesus. We had said that from now on it would be God's will in us and not ours. Yet, we tend to keep planning for ourselves. That's when God shatters all of your plans and everything starts to seem blank to you. We begin to feel that we have lost control and that everything has slipped out of hand. But it's just God changing your track. We always see two ways in front of us. One, a very hard to walk through and the other one, a easy one. We always tend to move away from the one that is hard to walk on and choose the easy one. But what we always overlook is what's on the other side of the road. The first road, which is hard to walk on, ends in the great plans of God that he has for us. And the other one would just be the one that ruins you. God loving, who has ransomed you with his blood, changes your track so that in the end, it's his great will of power that is fulfilled. Yes, the journey is tough, but the finish line is God's blessing that he wants to shower upon you. Elijah's plan was to run away from Jezebel to save his life. He sat under a broom tree and asked God to take away his life. But God had a different plan. He wanted him to confront Ahab once again and raise another strong man of God called Elisha who would do great works. Moses' plan was to run away from Egypt once and for all and even told God that he was thick down and wasn't fluent in speaking. But God's plan for Moses was to lead his people out of slavery and then raise leaders like Joshua and Caleb who with their households would enter Canaan and serve the Almighty. David's family planned to keep a little shepherd boy who would lead their sheep in the wilderness. But God's plan was to raise the great King David who would rule over his people defeat the great giant Goliath who blasphemed the God of Israel. The serpent's plan was to get the human race against God, and he is still working on it. But God's plan was to crush the serpent's head on the cross, where his blood paid the price for the sins of the human race, his scars brought healing to them, and his death brought them life. And his great plan of Zion and its inhabitants are still on its way. Our lives have a similar experience. All of us had different backgrounds, different outlooks on life, and different faiths. But God's plan in each one of us was different. He called us out of many, a few to proclaim his love and power to the dying world. So always remember, our plans are not his plans. Our ways are not his ways. If your plan has been crushed, just remember he has something great in store for you. Something you have never expected. Something which would make the devil hide his face and run. So let go of the plans you have right now and give God control. Take your hands off your life and keep it in God's hand and believe he's going to do wonders. I hope these words will make your day a blessed one. Let everything we do and say portray Jesus in us. May God bless you all.